With Karyo EHR, selecting a patient is easy to do with one click from the patient schedule list. Or you can also search for the patient by typing in a partial first or last name, or by selecting a recently viewed chart on the list. Once a patient chart is shown, you'll notice a patient summaries at the top. You can navigate the different sections by rolling over the different areas within the face sheet or selecting one of the vertical tabs here on the left. On the far right, you'll notice clinical recommendations from the United States Preventative Services Task Force, or USPSTF. These are based on an individual's health history. Let's now select the chart section, like immunization, and here you can view the trended data that shows the immunization history. Let's go ahead and select vitals and view some of the vitals data here as an example. You can see that you can trend them in a graph by selecting the appropriate graph on the list and then viewing the graph on screen. Let's go back to the chart. Now select a different section, for example, history. We'll add some past medical history here for our patient. Place a check mark in the box related to a condition and maybe even add some commentary here. We can also select the checkbox at the bottom and add the condition to the problem list. Then when we go back and see it, you can see it in history, as well as going to the problem list and see the condition listed there as well. We can add new problems by simply selecting the plus problem button. And as we type ahead for a new problem, you'll notice that we enter the word thyroid and it will give us several options. Select one of those from the list, and Cario EHR will automatically put the ICD code in for you. We can fill out the form, or just hit cancel in this case to exit out of it. Now let's move down into the notes section briefly, and I'll show you how to begin a note. Simply select the notes tab, then up here select the type of note, for example a soap note. And when the soap note appears, simply select an area, and then click and start adding information.